tantric yoga differ from other yoga styles, Ashtanga, Vinyasa, Bikram, Iyengar? No, it's a good question and it's something that I, I'm asked many times. The difference is very considerable because all those that you've mentioned from Iyengar, Ashtanga, Bikram and others, those types of yoga uh, teachings are, and I'm saying this with all humbleness without trying to offend anybody, but these are teachings which are very body-oriented. They're very much focusing on the body itself, on how the body should move. It's sometimes very intense, and Shtanga Yoga, for example, can be very intense type of yoga practice, body approach. It almost borderlines with gymnastics, with kind of sports, fitness in a way. And that's why you find that uh, when you go to many gyms and, you know, sports centers and spas, they offer yoga, which is usually that, Ashtanga style and so on, because it does very much borderlines with fitness. As much as I have nothing against fitness, I love fitness, I do myself sometimes, yoga is very different, the type of tantric yoga, the authentic yoga. Tantric yoga is the yoga which is not just a body-oriented practice. It is a teaching which takes uh, the steps that start from the body, but it looks at the body, first of all, as an energy matrix. There's, there's energy centers called chakras in the body. Those exist. As much as it sounds, I know, for a lot of people, very hippie-like, confused knowledge, I can tell you, coming from a background as a lawyer, I, in the beginning, also didn't think these things are real. It sounded kind of far-fetched. But when I looked into it, and when I started practicing the authentic Tantric Yoga, I felt these things on myself. I could literally feel the chakras. I could see the effects, what it does to me and others. And then when you see it for yourself, nobody needs to convince you anymore. And the Tantric Yoga takes you through that level. You start from the physical body. You don't focus on becoming necessarily more flexible or fit. You get that anyway in Tantra Yoga, but you focus much deeper than that. And as you practice the Tantric teachings of Yoga, you start noticing that it affects you also on much deeper levels, emotionally, psychologically, mentally, and it starts creating a simple effect of development. It literally transforms the human being. Because you can take a person and teach them how to be a good contortionist, gymnastic, physically very, very fit person, but that person might actually not have a very big change in their life. Because you can be a very, let's put it a bit roughly, but don't take it in a negative way, you can be a very healthy animal. But it doesn't make it necessarily that you are developing in your life much. Tantric yoga is all about development, evolution, evolution of consciousness. And therefore, it goes much deeper than the physical level, energetically, psychologically, mentally. And yes, it can even bring a person to spiritual openings and development, self-realization, the true meaning of samadhi from the yogic tradition of Patanjali and others. Then you get to understand what it all is about. Of course, there are other aspects of tantric yoga which are magnificent, from incredible healing that I've seen myself. It brought incredible healing to a lot of people with various problems, to deep purification, and going further and further even to the aspects of sexuality and relationship, Tantric Yoga touches all those aspects and take you very deep into success on all levels.